So what is 513 about? MPTX 513 is a course on the regulation of medical devices, which are one of the medical products along with drugs and biologics that are regulated by FDA. So, and there are a large variety of medical devices. They go from very simple things like um, thermometers and tongue depressors to heart implants, to stents, to x-ray machines, to MRIs, those kinds of things, and a whole bunch of things in between. They are Pro oh, and also includes diagnostics. So um, if you've got a particular, they, they can tell what strain of flu you have or what viral infection you have or something like that. Um, all of those are devices that, uh, and they're regulated. And there is a huge difference between the complexity of various devices, as you can tell by what I've said. And so the regulations aren't real formulaic. They're very general and we have to then interpret them. Okay, so that and, and basically what we uh, what the course we hope to teach people in the class is how to anticipate how the products are regulated. How to go and find things on the internet at the various FDA and other websites to tell you how these products are regulated or to give you hints. Uh, so that you can then interpret. But there is a lot of interpretation and common sense and anticipation and a good regulatory person needs to know how to do that. Okay, well that leads me to my, my next question. Who takes this course? Who needs this course? This course is good for a variety of people. Certainly people who are going into the regulation of medical devices, that's, a, that's obvious. But in addition to that, there are people, for instance, engineers who are um, going in, who are going to be in the R&D side, who would also be helped by this. There may be people who don't have direct experience with medical devices but have been in drugs or biologics, this is good for them particularly as they move up in their career. Or if they're going to deal with things we now have combination products which are drugs and devices or drugs and biologics or biologics and devices and those products, if you're going to get involved in that, you really need to know how each part of your product is regulated so you can help find a good merge for all that. Makes sense. So what is the approach, the teaching approach? How is this course taught? We, it is taught, um, first of all, we expect that there will be a lot of reading and reviewing of FDA requirements and ISO, the International Standards Organization requirements, so that you have some basic, inf basic knowledge of what is being required, what needs to be regulated. And then we try to mimic some of the activities that you would do in, in a company. So if you're a regulatory person and you want to know how a new product might be regulated, if your company wants to go to have a new product, you need to figure out how to go and look things up about products in general and then your product is specifically and so we want to teach you how to do that and how to anticipate things how to look at information that's out there from competitive products so that and and to interpret what's being asked or reported about those products so you can see how to do that um, we want you to understand about reporting requirements. So one, getting your product on the market, getting it approved, and then keeping it on the market and having it stay approved and what kinds of things so that you, that you might have to report back on. Complications, complaints, this, that sort of thing. Or if you're making changes, sometimes you need to check with FDA or submit to FDA. And we want our students to really be able to go out and step into a role 
without too much um, basic learning. They should have, we want to give them that. Very good. Okay. Is there anything else that what I, one know. of the thing, yeah, one of the things I should mention, uh, we have a number of deliverables. We generally have um, a preliminary deliverable that help that will essentially get you to do basic research on the internet, how to find things. We have an exam. We have several uh, group projects. The most um, notorious of them is a mock 510k submission, which is a submission for most of the kinds of devices that need to have a submission. And we have that done in a group setting. And, and you don't get to choose your groups. We assign the group and we assign the device. And the reason for that is that when you go into industry, you don't get to pick who you work with you get to work with who's ever there and you have to learn how to do that in a reasonable way and when you're getting documents from a number of different sources they have to be compiled and they can't be contradictory to one another internally they have to all basically say not the same thing but talk about the same product not different versions of the same product and so it's a great experience and both our students and some of the companies they've go gone to have thought that this has really helped them out uh, so that they can start running without, without having uh, to find their way. Very good. So, okay. That sounds interesting. Thanks. You're very welcome. My okay. pleasure.